guys remember that scene from Apollo 13 where they're trying to get the carbon dioxide filter happening? We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this. Using nothing but that. Let's get it organized. Okay. Okay. Well, it's kind of like that today in bagpipe land. Basically, I need to get a water trap going in my pipes, which would normally be pretty easy, although I'm trying to get this trap dry thing happening. This is not my key. This is the trap dry thing. It's like this little shenanigan in there uh, that actually helps to, uh, I think, condense a lot more water in the tube. Uh, the problem is, um, it's not just like a standard tube. There's all these bits and pieces, and I have to figure out how to get it in my bagpipe. The problem is, right, the, uh, it's not quite as simple as I think we all wish it was. So for starters, um, I've got this thing now, sort of figured it out, but you know, I have a detachable water trap, you know, just like a standard thing. And I've got this guy, this is my old semi-grungy water trap that I have put in here. I've got that going on here. And what will happen is it will fit in to my trap dry because the tubes are different sizes. So I think that's actually going to be okay, right? But of course, this doesn't really fit in through here very well, uh, and I'm not going to force it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in like so, right? And then I can take this, uh, put it inside the bag and have it meet up with the hose on the other side. Now I'm kind of trying to figure out what's going to happen on the other end of this thing. So over here we've got the butt of my old water trap, right? We've got some pieces of this guy. I'm thinking what ultimately might need to happen is this guy might need to come on here like so. And then maybe I cut the end of this again uh, so that I can get my, see the little holes here? Like that's sort of standard water trap design, which I think might be the way to go. So. Uh, I'm going to go here, going to measure it out, make sure everything works, but that's my plan. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Um, so now what I'm going to do uh -oh, is I'm going to drop the camera, then I'm going to remount it again. Uh, get this camera tipped down a little bit, just so you can see what I'm going to do. Uh, it's a very cheap, cheesy tripod that we saw yesterday, kind of broke, but I was able to kind of fix it. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's cut this first guy at more of a square angle-ish. By the way, if I were a handyman, I'd probably be a handyman for a living. Uh, let's get this cut. Try not to cut off any fingers. Uh, now I'm going to cut the old one. Uh, maybe a couple, maybe about right about there. Okay, so now that one is going to go at the end of this one, I think. Perfect. Now, it's all going to restrict a little bit, but, I, you know, it's a small price to pay for. Um, so now we have our tubes at the end. So this should make us uh, a good sort of water trap here at the end of the day. Again, this is all experimental, but theoretically this trap dry thing is supposed to work pretty good. So, um, good. And the water trap kind of goes up to the end. Now, can we get any air in through the blow stick? See how this works. It's pretty restrictive. <laughs> pretty well overall for the solo pipe so um, yeah basically what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna head home I've got some stuff I want to do at home uh, well uh, and then I have lesson with Donald today at 1 so we'll see how all that goes by the way I'm working on a little bit of new music today which you've already heard as part of the vlog it's all done through my Fagerstrom techno pipe a little bit rough around the edges of course but I like to have some fun sketching and jamming and might as well make it 
a little bit of music that can guide today's episode. So kind of cool, right? Um, let's see. Should we do a quick tour? So this is just a um, little drum beat here. Let's see. And then you can hear the layers. So here's another Got a little drum beat, which is pretty fun. Here's the main melody. Purposefully not bagpipe sound, right? Just the melody of meeting of the waters. And then we add in some orchestral elements. A little bit more bass. And then a little uh, solo -y bit. That's, what the, that's what's going on over here. Just kind of goofing around a little bit. Just kind of goofing around and uh, anyway, just a little bit behind the scenes of the music that's happening. Okay. Okay, so I went home. Uh, I am home. I'm just uh, getting ready to go to Donald's. I have to leave in a couple minutes. But the theory that I'd like to undergo right now is I'd like to play my pipes for um, a few minutes, maybe five to ten minutes, and I'm going to leave them put together. And my hope is that the bagpipe will be stable when I get to Donald's. That's the hope. Now, it gets a little bit complicated with the moisture control bananas because... Um, you know, their whole point is to dry things out. But I'm going to try to, you know, get a healthy amount of moisture in the bagpipe right now. Then I'm going to put the bananas in when I get there. A little bit controversial. I'm just going to see what happens, um, you know, so I'm not going to worry too much about moisture right now in the first 10 minutes. Uh, put them in. That's going to keep the drone reeds dry once the chanter reed and stuff gets a chance to get moisture in it and get stable. That's my theory. <coughs> so we're going to see how things go today. Okay, just getting the pipes out now and uh, have a little toot. Got sharp fast, didn't it? Let's have a look. Um, is this trap dry thing working? Well, something's going on. It's very dry in there. Um, usually, the high G and stuff doesn't get anywhere near that sharp. You can hear the, the lick. I gave my reed a little bit of moisture just manually. Listen to how it brought the pitch way back down. High G is a lot more full. That is the magic of moisture. And we need some moisture to get a good chanter sound. Anyway, I'm going to play these for a couple more minutes and then I'll be headed up to Donald's. <laughs> 